Good morning. Happy Friday, 7:20 Friday morning. I am out the door early. Going to go to market early so I can beat the crowd cuz I the the less I have to stand, the better. Um with my knee as pitiful as it is right now. So, yeah, market early. And I'm going to turn the camera off now cuz you're just going to bounce around cuz the light changed green. Okay. So, I've gone to Starbucks. I don't know what kind of promo is going on. I didn't expect it, but free mug. <laughs> Nothing in it, obviously. And this is my first try at a Starbucks coffee. Now, keep in mind, I don't drink any coffee. I've never liked coffee at all. Last time I tried it was... Oh my gosh, it's probably been 20 years since I've tried it. I am a tea drinker. I love my black caffeinated tea. So, again, my daughter, who um, works for some place that promotes Pete's brand coffee, suggested I try Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew with ice and to let it settle for a little bit. She says the cold brew isn't as bitter as a hot brewed coffee. Um, it smells like a pumpkin pie. It does. It smells like pumpkin and spice in there. So, like how long do I let it sit before I try it? Do I shake it? <laughs> oh, God. All right. Like, I'm scared to try this. I'm better at trying alcohol new mixtures than I am coffee i'm just scared it's gonna be and and honestly the price and um like i only seen them giving out the free refillables to certain people i guess you had to i don't know if you had to spend a certain amount of money or buy certain things but this look now i had a gift card so i didn't spend this but this little one this is just the small size was with tax four dollars and 51 cents there is no way you do that every day, there's what, $22 a week, $88 a month in coffee? I'm good with my tea bags. Because even when I, and I'm a Starbucks drinker, I love their Royal English Breakfast Tea. But I get a big one, and it only costs me $2 and some change. So I can't justify the costs of these expensive coffees. Now, I know you can drink cheaper coffee as well. So, all right. Here it goes. <laughs> I'm pitiful, ain't I? I'm <laughs> just pitiful. <laughs> okay. Do I have weight on my lip? It's not awful. I can still taste coffee. Like I taste coffee and not pumpkin at this point. Well, they say you have to you have to acquire and a taste. You <laughs> you have to acquire a taste for it. And I definitely agree with that statement. I'm I'm going to drink it. I'm going to make myself try to enjoy this. And that, that that sounds horrible. Again, it's not awful. Um, maybe I'll like it more as I get down more. I don't know. But um, I'll let you know. So I didn't need much at market. So frugal tip here and I just know this from doing this over the years when I have a set meal plan and I base it off of being able to like um, what am I trying to say <laughs> like buying something in a larger quantity but then reusing it through the week um, or use or yeah just eating okay I'm just gonna give up on this take two when I stick to a meal plan and maybe eat similar items all week to try to um, 
just keep eating the same variety of food so that I can buy a bigger portion and make it stretch farther. Does that make sense? Oh my God, I, I should just give up. I spend less money that way. So uh, again, that's gonna be my, my one of my big focuses um, is saving money and getting my, getting my ass back to Florida where it's supposed to be. So again, five things at market. I'll show you. And I'm still working on this. Yep, still working on it. Okay, so my lettuce is soaking. It's my leaf lettuce that's in the salad spinner right now. So I let that soak in cold water for a little bit, and then I'll go out and spin it a couple times um, and dry it good, and then I'll put that in the refrigerator. I took a picture of both of the steaks and sent it to Mike and asked him what his thoughts were on should I make both of them or should we just settle for one for dinner see this is where I'm totally coming out of my box because when it comes to food and how much I make I've never included Mike in the equation I just never have not that I was trying to keep anything from him I guess I just thought that that's my area it's separate from stuff he does around here and I'm finding just in this short period of time, sorry, where was I pointing the camera? I have no idea, I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm finding just in a short period of time that I feel better getting his opinion. Is that weird? Is that weird? Like, I wanna focus on frugality right now. So that's a, I mean, you know what food costs are, especially beef. What is up with beef? Oh my gosh, beef is insane right now. Um, so yes, we could definitely do with one steak for dinner and then when I make my pizzas on Sunday, I can come up with some other kind of meat to put on them because Mike's going to need some kind of meat on his pizza probably. Um, but I do have some beef sausage out there. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what this is. But I, I told him in the text, I'm like, look, we could make one of these for dinner. It would probably be enough because I'm making rice and asparagus. But... If I make the second one, then we can have steak on the pizza, plus have steak and eggs for breakfast one morning this week. So I'll wait and hear what he has to say. But it, it felt good to me to ask him his opinion on it. My guess is he's gonna say, let's only make one. We'll see if I guess correctly. So while my lettuce is soaking for a few minutes, um, I'm just gonna check my email and stuff like that. So I'll be right back. Well, I guessed right. I said just make one of the steaks for dinner 
and freeze the other one for another dinner down the road. And on his pizza, he wants turkey sausage. So yeah, okay, so we have one going in the freezer and I'm gonna get this one seasoned up for tonight. All right, on the road again. So my BFF is taking me for lunch for my birthday, which was last week. Um, so yeah, my birthday was last Thursday. I have no idea. Yeah, it was Thursday. <laughs> so Big 51. Um, she bought me a box of the Stauffer's dark chocolate star cookies. Oh my gosh, they're like my favorite cookie. And I've of course eaten the whole box already. I mean, I got those like last Saturday, they're gone. Um, but again, she's taking me to lunch. It was my choice on where to go. And I picked Isaac's. So that's kind of regional, I think only to Pennsylvania. Um, and I think just kind of like Southeastern Pennsylvania. It's a specialty sandwich place and it's BYOB. So. She has the wine and forgot the wine bottle opener, so I'm going to be walking into the restaurant. Bottle opener. <laughs> so yeah, off to have lunch, a yummy sandwich with a BFF. Room to cut it. I mean, I got shit all over the table. <laughs> Lettuce and carrots. There he is, getting quarters. Time to wash a vehicle. He really knows how to entertain me on a Friday night. I just love this man. Washing the forerunner. We're gonna he's gonna take it tomorrow to take some pictures of it and we're gonna sell it. Yep. My knee is thumping. I don't know if you can see the difference. It's probably a little odd with the camera. But this knee here, you can see my kneecap. Everything's kind of pronounced. This one, it's just all swelled. This whole area here, this whole area here. I stood as long as I could with him outside, but I'm done for the night now. Well, for a little bit, because we got to go home and cook dinner. He's starving, must get dinner going. So some water with beef flavoring in it and some olive oil for my beef rice. 
also besides the bouillon, I also seasoned this with some onion powder and some celery salt and a little bit of black pepper. So now that everything's boiling, I'm going to add my rice. Turn that down to a simmer. And see you in a half hour. Man, I am I am not liking this time change. It is like 10 of 6. And I am out here grilling in the dark. The heck. But oh my, does it look good. He's suiting up. Heavy enough. Well, don't burn yourself. All right, let's go eat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How's your meat? Very good. You gonna keep me? I guess. You gonna keep me? I'm always gonna keep you. You paid for the meat. Mm. <laughs> I gotta keep you or I get no meat. <laughs> In more ways than one. <laughs> okay, that was bad. I'm gonna shut this off now. Dinner was fabulous, and the little bit of steak we had left, I sliced up thin, and that will go in an omelet, either tomorrow or Sunday morning, for breakfast for Mike. Now to clean up my mess. Well, the mess is cleaned up. Other than my mat is not dry yet. So now, I think it's time for a nice big cup of hot chocolate. And yes, in case you didn't notice in that clip prior to this one, I make my hot chocolate with milk. Who can drink that stuff with water? Yuck! Welp. Are you ready for bed? Friday nights are so exciting, aren't they? Mm -hmm. You're tired and I can't walk. <laughs> well, guess this will do it. Good night.